Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be melting down all this aluminum inside of this five gallon bucket. In this melt, I'm going to be using the Vivor 12 kg propane furnace. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description below. All of the aluminum inside of this five gallon bucket are extruded aluminum. They are all small pieces that will fit easily inside of my crucible. I'm not going to be doing a voiceover for the whole video, but I will pop in every now and then and say a few things because melting metal is kind of self-explanatory when you have a propane furnace. So I'm just gonna load the aluminum into the crucible, try to organize it to try to fit as much as possible and light the furnace. So I just preheated the graphite ingot mold before pouring any molten metal into it. You want to make sure you remove any moisture from inside of it. Because molten metal doesn't go very well with moisture, it kind of is pretty dangerous. And I can't stress this enough, when you're doing any type of metal casting, make sure you are wearing your personal protective equipment.
I hope you guys are still here, and if you are, if you enjoy this video, definitely smash that like button and leave a comment below. Recently, I did a few sand casts, and I had a mold left over, so I'm going to use it. I have to say it, these ingots are coming out of these grass molds probably easier than ever. And if you know the struggle, comment below. So I was kind of getting sick and tired of using one graphite ingot mold. So I decided to use my muffin pan. This is actually the original muffin pan I started using when casting them. And I thought I had some sort of bright idea that I could just organize my ingots and set the muffin pan right over top of it and that would work. Well, you'll see. It did. I changed my mind. This is definitely much better.
right, it's the following day and everything has cooled. It's time to open up this sand casting mold and see how it came. As I said in the beginning, this was an extra sand mold that I made when I cast these in brass. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you're interested in seeing that. Look at all these beautiful ingots to add to my stack. Even these little tiny muffin ingots. Pretty sweet. And now it's time to see how much weight I have in all of these ingots. I have 10.64 pounds and 4.82 kilograms of aluminum. 